video, we'll learn how to start and stop a three-phase induction motor using relays and contactors. And also we'll learn how a latch circuit will, will work. So as you can see here, there are two diagrams. The top one, which is a blue one, this is the control circuit. And the bottom one, which is the black one, is the basically the power circuit. So let's come close to the power circuit, start with it. And here we have three phases, and the line-to-line -line voltage is 208. Then there here we have in series with the line three fuses to protect against any over uh, any short circuit. Then here we have the contactors. Uh, and you can see here the contactors are basically normally open. So this is an open circuit. Uh, this is the normal operation of it. And then in series with it, there is the overload relays. These are thermal relays. This is basically to protect the three-phase motor if there is any overload having uh, to them. So that is basically the power circuit. Now let's go for the control circuit here, the blue one. We'll start from the single phase voltage at 120. And this is in series with that. We have a normally closed switch. That is the stop. So that is normally closed. In series with that, we have a normally open switch. And in parallel with that, there is another contactor. And this, this contactor is called M1. And the contactor in the power circuit is also M1. So these are controlled by the same relay. Then comes here, comes the M1. This is the relay that control these two uh, sets of contactors. And then finally we have a normally closed contactor for the overload. So if the overload relay trips, this will also will open. So when you look here to the, basically to the control circuit, there is a discontinuity here. So there will, this will not be energized. But once I push, the uh, push button here, the start one, then you will have a continuity of the power through the normally uh, the, the normally closed switch and the push button that I just push it, and this would energize M1. Once M1 is energized, then this contactor will close, and these contactors will close, and the motor will will start. And this circuit will keep running until you push the stop button. When you push it, basically, you are open circuit and you are de-energizing the contactor. So this will be an open circuit and this will open circuit and the motor will start. So let's go now and see this circuit in real uh, implementation. Uh, this is the connection diagram for both the control circuit and the power circuit. So we will start with basically the, the power circuit. So in the power circuit here, we start with L1, L2, and L3. And this will go to the, to the fuse for the short circuit protection. The output of the fuse basically will be uh, going to the contactor. So here we have the three uh, contactors. We have L1, L2, L3. And the output is basically T1, T2, and T3. The output of the contactor will go to the overload protection. This is the overload uh, relay. So this is the input coming to L1, L2, and L3. And the output of the, uh, con of the uh, relay, basically, will go to the, to the motor. Okay. So this is the red, black, and blue phase. So that is the, basically the power circuit, and this is the three-phase induction motor. Now, let's go for the control circuit. Now, the control circuit starts from L1 only. It's a single phase, and it will go basically to the, to the stop button, push button here, which is normally closed. So that is the red one is the, the stop button. And then this will be connected in series with the normally open start button, the green one. So this is the starting point. And in parallel with the, the starting uh, push button, uh, you will have basically the normally open auxiliary contactors, which is M1, which is the same contactors as basically, or run by the same relay, which is uh, the power, power contactors. And then this will be connected to A1 
and E2, E1 and E2 is basically the, the relay M1 that is controlled to energize all normally open uh, uh, contactors. And this will be connected in series with a normally closed, this is a normally closed uh, uh, contactor, uh, which is this one here, it's the same here, which is between uh, 95 and 96. And this will go back to the, to the neutral. So that is the wiring diagram for both the power circuit and basically the control circuit. So let's start the motor. So I will click here on the start button. Uh, first, before that, we need to switch on the power supply here. And then now we will start the motor. So the motor now is running, okay? Now, to stop this, we click on the stop button. So, start. And stop. So this is a simple circuit to start a three-phase induction motor. Explain better what we have seen in the uh, single line diagram and in the uh, uh, in the experiment. Uh, I will be using here Automation Studio to demonstrate what I have just shown to you. So I basically recreate the same circuit that we have. So we have here at the top is the power circuit where you will have the three phase supply, the contactors, and the overload relay, and the three phase induction motor. And then we will have between line and neutral the control circuit, which starts with the stop push button, and then we have a start push buttons, and then we have here another uh, contactors controlled by this relay, and I have a normally closed uh, relay for the over for the overload. Okay. Now I will not talk about the overload and how it works. Maybe this could be for another video. My concentration here would be on the uh, start and stop of the three-phase induction motor. So let's run the uh, simulation here. So when we run the simulation, you see in the green lines the power stops here at the switch. So here it stops at the contactor, the three-phase contactors, and in the control circuit it stops at the normally open. Uh, contactors. Now, I will come here and I will start the push button. When I, when I click here, you notice the following. When I start uh, or click on the push button, the power now will have its way and it will energize the relay C1. And once the relay C1 is energized, it will close the contactors, the auxiliary contactors across in parallel of the push buttons and the three contactors of the three-phase supply. Now, the push button will go to its original state, which is normally open, but it doesn't matter, as the power now will go through the normally closed stop push buttons to the closed contactors, to the normally closed uh, contactor, to the relay, and back. Now, how to interrupt the, the circuit? You come here to the stop push button. Once I click on the stop push button, I will open the circuit, so I will de-energize the relay. Once I de-energize the relay, everything will be open circuit. All C1 contactors here will stop, and you will see that the motor that is running, now it will basically, it will stop. So once I click here, push buttons, everything stops. So this is the start, and this is the stop. So this is how in a very easy circuit, we can start and stop an induction motor.